Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So this is just a pre-recorded video on Friday night. So I get to upload it pretty much on a Saturday morning just for you guys. There will be another video out tomorrow. This will be just pretty much the, the roundup of all Leeds United news. So we'll get to see. Uh, I mean, I guess we get to like have a little bit of a catch up on what has happened at the club every single week. So I'm going to bring that as a new little series out on, on the channel. But before we do get to today's video, if you've never seen my face before, I do try to bring out Leeds United content on a daily basis if, if, if possible. And we're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers. And as well, we're going to be doing a giveaway when we get to 2,000 subscribers, so stay tuned for that. The quicker you do it, the quicker we'll be able to enter the giveaway. So all you've got to do is just like. The more likes we get on the video, uh, each video that we get, the more subscribers that we can uh, accumulate a better chance that you guys get the opportunity to to be entered into into the giveaway so uh into today's news we're going to talk about a couple of um suitors i mean stories should we say uh obviously i'm going to start off by the uh, the rodrigo uh situation uh, we all know now that he's left uh, Leeds united now he's going to qatar and i mean it's good I, i'm going to miss him you know i mean he was one of my favorite players at, at Leeds united with with accumulating just under 100 appearances for the club and around about 30 goals in total i mean for his evaluation of 30 million pounds i mean it was a bit of a a, a steep um evaluation if you if you put it into perspective because i mean i personally do not think he'd be more than worth than maybe like 15 to 17 million pounds as well but you know what victor Otto was like obviously all he wanted to do was um get all these hollywood signings and stuff like that so his 30 million pr uh, price tag was a huge huge loss for Leeds united especially with uh, the qatari side only paying around about three million pounds because obviously they activated his uh, release clause but good luck to him i mean it's, it's sad to see him go, of course, we needed to get his wages off the books, but at the same time I'm hoping and praying that he'll have a decent uh, end to his career. He's, he obviously is in the National League, National League, uh, national international side now with Spain, so I just want to wish him the best. Into into other news as well, there's there's been a couple of players that who are wanting away from the club. We we all know there's around about like six or seven people now who have uh, who have now departed uh, Leeds United, and there's also going to be some more in the next couple of weeks. I mean, there's a couple of more names that have come up today, which was uh, Pascal Stroik and Max Vober. I mean, I'm a little bit confused when it comes to Max Vober because there was reports saying that he wanted to to stay at the club, even though we got relegated. There were reports that he wanted to stay at the club, but I don't know how how true it is. Maybe it's just because with Leeds United selling so many people on loan at the moment, maybe it's just the fact that like these his agents like look, all these players are leaving, so maybe we can get a move for 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 Vorber as well. So maybe it maybe it's that. Maybe it's just maybe it's just rumours. I, I don't know. But with the strike situation, I think I like strike. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think he fits the Leeds United mold anymore. I think he's he's just past it. I mean, he keeps regressing instead of progressing. Um, and I think it would work better for both parties. Like, I mean, we, we can give players chance after chance after chance, but at the same time, we, we can't keep these types of players into the squad if they're going to continue making the same mistakes over and over again. And there was a couple of occasions when we played against Manchester United where he let them have more of a chance of scoring. I mean, he was at fault for one of the goals from what I saw on the highlights and stuff. And he just doesn't seem to have that confidence anymore. He doesn't seem to have that ability to be able to play um, decent football or uh, pl pass from the from from the back or a ball playing defender, shall we say? So I think in both parties, I think it would be best if if he would go, whether that be a loan option or whether that would be a permanent option. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, I don't know what kind of like club he would go to because I personally thought he was going to be one of these astounding players who we would buy on like such a cheap. Because I think we only bought it for like maybe three. It was either three hundred thousand or five hundred thousand pound. Uh, when he were joining into the academy, it might even be less. I'm not 100 percent sure, so don't don't quote me on that. Um, and then obviously selling for like maybe 15 to 20 million to like a top side, like a Tottenham or a Liverpool or or even a Chelsea, you know. But unfortunately, he, he his progression has just gotten worse, and I don't think being at Leeds United is going to help his confidence. I don't think it's going to help him progress in the way that he wants to, and I don't think he's going to uh, like going to progress how the fans want him to either so it, w it wouldn't be a surprise it wouldn't be a, a sad move it w I wouldn't be too bothered if he would leave but Vorba I think it would hit home a little bit because obviously he did sign a five-year deal um, but 
he only joined in January, so it'd be a bit of a, a weird situation in that one. And as well, into, into next news, obviously Leeds United are continuously uh, finding out more investors or more investors are coming into to Leeds United, which is fantastic. I mean, um, he does play basketball. I don't know the name, but he is a basketball player and he's, he's, he's worth a lot of money. I think he's worth over $300 million or something like that. So it's, it's good news to see all these investors with a lot of money. But at the same time, I think... I think this is the reason why the EFL are taking so long because obviously with the amount of people who are investing in Leeds United right now, I think there's maybe about 13 people or more who are now invested into the club. I think this is why it's taking so long because it's like once they continuously find more and more people wanting to invest in Leeds United, the more and more background checks they're going to have to do. So maybe it's, this is the reason why it's taking forever. Maybe it's, that's, that's just maybe as simple how it, how it goes and that's just how it is. I mean, if it's going to take another two to three weeks, then that's going to be a bit of a downer because this, the, the, the uh, season starts in uh, three weeks' time. So I'm hoping and praying that in the next week or so, week and a half or so, that anything can, uh, everything could be finalised and everything can go through and Leeds United could be able to go off and buy some of their players. And I, I guess it's just a wait and see moment, isn't it? I mean, we don't really want to be sitting here and constantly saying, oh, we have to wait and see with like the players coming in. Gonna wait and see if the EFL are gonna like um, approve Leeds United of the takeover and stuff like that. So it's it's a bit of a frustrating time for us Leeds fans. And, and finally, in the last news, Junior Thurpo now linked to Galatasaray. I mean, this this I hate this because I don't I don't know if a lot of Leeds United fans know this or remember this, but I think it was in the 1990s. Don't quote me on that one because obviously I haven't looked, but. Uh, there was a few Leeds United fans who got brutally uh, attacked and obviously brutally murdered, unfortunately, while playing Galatasaray. Um, so Leeds United have this hatred, it doesn't matter whether it's 10 years ago, whether it's 100 years ago, whether it's 1,000 years ago. Um, it's going to be one of those things where Leeds United fans are going to continuously hate Galatasaray. And obviously Junior Firpo has has um, been linked away from, from the club to, to Galatasaray. And, I think it's a bit of a stupid move, in my opinion, because I know he wanted, uh, Marseille was linked with him. I know uh, the, the, the negotiations now for, for Junior Firpo and Marseille have broken down, so he's not going to go there. It's also a bit of a weird rumour as well, because uh, Galatasaray recently just signed a new left-back, so whether Junior Firpo wants to go to, to Turkey and sit on the bench and play as a backup left-back, then I don't 100% know, but yeah, that's... I think it's a bit of a silly move. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.